the last couple of years, you guys have really um, been right there. I mean, yeah. um, how, how much do you like the growth of the program right now? Well, there's no question that, you know, like you said, we're kind of an up and coming program and uh, we've kind of finally got to the point of where we want to consistently be, which is living in the playoffs. And uh, we were in the semifinals two years in a row. And then this year we made it to the quarterfinals, which, uh, you know, was a bit of a disappointment to our boys to not get back to the semifinals and try to get over that hump. But I think it says a lot about where we're at right now as a program that those are our expectations. Um, and I think it starts and ends with our senior leadership. In the two years that I've been there, we've had just absolutely phenomenal senior leadership. And uh, coming into next year, it looks like we'll have that again. Yeah, you, you start in the line of scrimmage, um, Trevor Brown. I mean, you don't get much bigger of a luxury than that. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, he's you know two-time Super State offensive lineman. Um, he's pretty uh, pretty special, and you know, anytime you can have an anchor up front like that is a great way to kind of build around. And you know, next year we uh, will have a couple running back spots open for us, and whoever gets the luxury of running behind uh, our offensive line, will, you know, they, they should be in good shape because we returned five starters up front for us on the old line anchored with uh, wow. Trevor. Yeah, Trevor. Um, I mean, he's been highly recognized as a great wrestler. What, what are the colleges that you've talked to? What are they asking you right now? You know, I think the biggest thing people are looking at right now with Trevor is kind of figuring out what side of the ball he fits best on. You know, is he an offensive lineman? You know, he's he's six foot two, so he's not a six seven left guard or anything like that. Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, a lot of people are projecting him right now as a uh, defensive lineman. A lot of people really like his wrestling background. He's strong as an ox. His numbers are off the chart there. Uh, really good with his hands. Um, you know, he gets to the football really well. You know, last year he actually led our football team in uh, uh, tackles from his defensive line spot. He had 60 tackles, 32 for loss, and 11 sacks. And so those are video game type numbers uh, for a defensive lineman. And so I think that says a lot about you know him. And right now it's looking like that's kind of what people are trying to figure out is, is he a defensive lineman, offensive lineman? And I tend to lean a little bit more on the defensive side. Who are the teams that have asked you the most about him right now? Iowa State, um, Northern Illinois, Wyoming, and then North Dakota State inquired him. I would say North Dakota State and Iowa State have been the two schools that have been asking the most questions and uh, really wanting to see Trevor. Um, obviously, other schools have reached out. and uh, I know he's on a lot of schools' radars right now, uh, but North Dakota State, Iowa State have been the two that have really shown the most interest, but at the same time, he's had a lot of schools reach out and ask about it. Then Riley Marsh, um, I mean, another weapon, 6'3", legit, 180, uh, 182. Um, what has he been able to do for you? 33-inch vertical. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of things you can do with a guy like that. Oh, yeah. Riley, you know, Riley's our, our threat on the outside. You know, we're very run-heavy offense, at least we have been the last few years. And, you know, having a guy on the outside like Riley that people have to they have to respect and they have to, um, you know, keep a guy out there on him. They can't just load the box against us because of a guy like Riley. And so he, can, he has the ability to take the top off of a uh, defense at any moment. And so, you know, he's got kind of it all. He's got that size, he's got that speed, and uh, overall athleticism. So he's definitely a young man that a lot of schools are interested in. Yeah, he's hearing from some people too. Can you give us an idea what his recruiting looks like right yeah. now? You know, I know the University of Nebraska's kind of inquired about him. Um, you know, South Dakota State, um, USD, North Dakota State, some of those different schools. You know, we went up to North Dakota State's camp two years ago as a team and uh, they got a chance to see him in person up there. And I know that was when he was a freshman, going to be sophomore, and they were impressed with him. And so going into this year, we're going to go up to South Dakota State as a team as well, and I know they're excited to get to see him in person as well as some of our other young men as well. So. And then Cole Murray, uh, is he your, he'll be your quarterback this year, I take it? Yeah, so Cole was our starter. He started for us about three-fourths of the way through the year last year as well and uh, really did good things for us the moment that he took over. And I think the thing that really separates Cole from a lot of kids is his leadership qualities. And uh, he's a big athletic kid, you know, standing six foot two, six foot three, um, you know, 180 pounds, and uh, just as just a great leader, great athlete, which is what we like in a quarterback. And you get the sense he wants to play quarterback at the next level, or wherever they tell him. You know, I think that so he did start for us at defensive back. You know, my personal take is, with as tall and as athletic as he is, he would be a really good tight end at the next level as well. He's physical. Um, you know, he's got the frame that could put on another 40 pounds on it and be a 220, 230 pound kid um, in college. Um, I think he'll 
leave Waverly High School with our strength program, you know, being as good as it is under Coach Anthony Harms, I could see him leaving as a 205, 210 pound kid next spring. And so it wouldn't shock me to see him possibly get recruited maybe a little bit more as a um, tight end. I think a lot of it has to do with maybe what level he's looking to play at. The higher the level, they might move him somewhere else. Correct. Yep, yep, yep.